Okay, TIs. Rev 1313 is the great fire in the sky. That will be a PSYOPs family. There's two families involved in this, but it's just one one team, of course. You got your Niburian, your Bullocks, Jesus, Lion, Cat. That's all lined up for you. Okay. Moses was Niburian. Anunnaki, the Ram. They've stolen from us. Fourth density is us. They've stolen our organic dreams. I don't know if any TIs are having organic dreams or not. Um, it's all based off of the black goo. Black goo is sugar. Plus the chemtrails and uh, bad water, bad food. It's all around us. So um, what I'm trying to do here is let you know uh, this stuff has been going on for a long time. They're running PSYOPs. Um, even the person I researched, she says, you know, EMR is being used on it, on the people. Man was made in God's image, but which one? The Nibiru or the Anunnaki? They all had horns, but the former were those of Michelangelo's Mo Moseses. And the Anunnaki was like a goat or a ram. So here's a picture of Moses from art history class. Okay? Here you go. So, um... I listened to Alex Collar's web webinar. He talked about Nibiru. Um, so apparently, uh, this this whole thing is still going. Nibiru is 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 the primary family, I guess. I don't know, but um, it's going to be Nibiru. You you name it any way you want. They're going to do something, okay? Nibiru, Planet X, the Second Cup, whatever. It's out of their Bible, okay? All this is for for complete control of humanity to keep you down and tethered, okay? Well, they've done that through taking away your organic dreams, okay? They've attacked you. Remember, they came after you, all right? And they don't want this information to come out, of course. Um, I don't know. There's all this insane stuff going on out there in the world where people need, like, a third ID. They don't know if they're a boy or a girl. So that right there is androgyny, which ties back to ancient Egypt. Lana Cantrell talks about it. Um, got another video. I, I kind of vent out on it. You know, this Christ image, androgynic. I'm sorry if I make you mad, but you know what? You better know. You better know what you're dealing with, Okay. Um, I know that I have dove deep into this stuff. I've been, I've been pulled down into this Freemasonry world and not by choice, but because I wanted to know what was going on. Why was I being gang stalked? Um, why is everybody treating me like crap? So, um, here you go. I dove deep and I dove deep and I did it for me and I did it for people you know, that are just trying to live their life. But apparently we, we can't live our life because we're all hooked up to this AI system now. Okay? We all are. The hive mind. And it's horrible. There's jump room technology that I know of. There's voice to skull. There's um, synthetic telepathy. There's facial and voice recognition. Now the voice recognition is really scary because you think that you're on the phone with the real person that you really want to be talking to. But guess what? That's black ops. They're able to do what's called mimicking. Okay? It's really scary stuff, the technology that's out there. Okay? Um, so I don't know what to tell you. Um, right now I, I'm pretty angry, but I'm trying to keep it cool. I do these videos not to amuse you, but to give you information because I think it's very vital because I know the, the BS, the BS that's coming up. Okay? You have to know this stuff from Egypt. All the gang stalkers are Egyptian worshippers. All of them. All of them. Any way you slice it. It doesn't if they're, if they're on the Nibiru side or the Anunnaki. It doesn't matter. They worship the, the Egyptian god. Okay? Which is Inky. So, if and when anything heavy or big event occurs, just keep it cool. Just remember it's them and not you, okay? That's what you have to remember. I don't know, if people, I'm pretty burned out on all of this. The last few days have been hit hard. Um... 
Yeah, they talk about um, this new age stuff, how we're going into fourth density to fifth density. You know, well, you know what all that means? That's our chakra system, people. And some people, 7D. I mean, all this stuff is chakra, is chakra, is you. They're going to use the technology that is already existing in you, on you. Because you're made of light, color, and sound. So they've done a double whammy on us. This is how disgusting it is. To think that you can't even have an organic dream anymore. Something that is you, something that is personal, but everybody has to know everything because we're all connected to this hive mind. Do you get it? Okay, all the privacy that they talked about, that's gone. All they did all these years is data mining. The internet, getting your email, you know, um, your blood work. You think your, your, your medical files are safe? They're not. You know how I know? Because of, um, I had a, um, a gold filling. And it wasn't harming me, it was actually just fine. But my dentist, you know, persuaded me to take it out. So I was like, okay, I'll just get a, you know, do it for cosmetic reasons. And it's not until later on that I found out that the gold was actually being beneficial for my health. So the medical field is not my friend either. Because the doctors out there and the dentists are not exactly taking the oath very, very seriously. Because they should have said, the dentist should have said, it's actually, you should just keep your gold because it's helping your health. Because no one's going to, you know, they don't come forward and tell you anything straight. There's no reason to take it out. Okay? They did it on purpose because they knew, the hive mind knows that you are a TI and anything that's beneficial for your health, they want to strip it from you. That's how they roll. And that's why we're in, at war with these reptilians. Okay? Do not deny yourself what you see. Do not deny what you have. That's what I want to tell the TIs. If you have a special talent, keep it. For me right now, all I have is the truth. That's it. That's all I have. Everything else on this planet is hogwash. Because it's all built on a, based on a lie. Egyptian lie. You have dumbs underneath your, your ground. All the pedophilia, all the uh, missing people. That's high technology people. That's high technology. They have people that work around the clock and they take, they, they take children. Okay? This is how sick it is. We have a very sick, deprived world. And it's all because of Nimburu and Anunnaki bloodline. They're the ones that started this nonsense. Okay? So their little black book is, um, you know, their little script. Just want to let you know. Don't believe your government. You already know the answer to that. The government's not going to be there for you. That's why I do these videos to let you know that you need to stand firm. I don't know. I don't know if my transmissions meet anybody. I don't know. I really don't know. I do know that I have to get my voice out. Because I know their love. Their love is double so is a double edged sword. It doesn't last very long. And they sit there and laugh at you. They're gonna show you love and light and they're gonna entice you and they're gonna do their holographic scenes and all this wonderful stuff. But you know what? It's short lived. That's why I always tell you guys, you have to know what real love is. Because real love doesn't gang stalk, torture you, steal from you, you know, beat you up, kick you in the teeth. It doesn't do that. Okay, I'm here to give you the truth, okay? So far I've been led down a road that's only halfway. Okay, and the rest of it I have to, I have to really figure out. Okay? 
All you people in Hollywood, they already know what's down with it. They already, they're down with this stuff, okay? They already have the hologram, they have the... Where do you think the technology goes to? First it's developed and it probably goes to Hollywood for them to show you on the films. Okay? They want to launch you into Star Wars. Don't, doesn't that sound fantastic? All I want is for us to, I want you guys to realize that they have stolen from you. Fourth density is us, your pineal gland. Okay, your Anunnaki dudes have taken that away from you and depicted it right here in a picture. Art through the ages. Okay, kids, hold on, let me get it for you. Here's your Anunnaki right there. Right there. Holding the pine cone. Isn't that special? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, like I said, I don't do these videos to amuse you. I'm here to give you truth. Because I've had it. I think that we're the only ones that are probably going to, you know, probably tough it, tough it through. I don't know. I know they have a cycle that they go through. We're in the age of Kali Yuga. Last thousand years. Did you know that that cycle is how they do the population program? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's how they do it. I'll quickly read it to you. Okay, you got the Kurta age. That's a 4,000. Tetra age. That's 3,000. Uh, De Devapara. That lasts 2,000. And Kali is 1,000. Okay. So, you add all that up, it comes out to 12,000. But I'll do another video for you on that one. I'll show you on a piece of paper. I don't feel like doing it right now. Okay. But it says it's very it's very vital that you see, you understand this. It says when the Kali age has been spent, which is now, it goes back to the Kurta. So it goes back up to the Kurta age, which is 4000. There's your repopulation program. Okay. They got us on a cycle, guys. Depopulation. That's how they control things. So you better wake up. I know I did. When I read that, I was like, you know what? I've seen this cycle before. Mm hmm. It was explained in another video somewhere. I was like, you know what? That looks really familiar. There you go. How they use you. So, I'm going to cut it short. Catch you later.